Tomorrow, a large protest is expected at the Mississippi State Capitol pushing for prison reform. It's in response to nearly a dozen inmates who have been killed or died by suicide at state prisons just in the past four weeks. Yeah, and today the state's new governor visited the highest security prison at Parchman to personally inspect what some are calling inhumane conditions. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler is here now to show us what the governor saw. Annette? Tate Reeves simply said the conditions are not good. The last 24 hours, uh, I have visited uh, both the Walnut Grove facility uh, as well as Parchman uh, with uh, Commissioner Taylor. These are photos of Governor Tate Reeves getting a private tour of the Walnut Grove Correctional Facility and Parchman. We also saw some pretty rough conditions, particularly in Unit 29, where some inmates have just torn the place apart. Our new maintenance teams are on site trying to make it better. Governor Reeves says he has appointed an agent from the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations to conduct a criminal investigation into the problems there. Stopped up toilets, running waters through the hallway, trash everywhere. You got guards attacking the inmates, inmates hanging themselves, you know, sleeping on the floor. You know, it's disgusting there. Activist Mac Freddy is heading to Jackson Friday morning to rally for change. Governor Reeves says several changes have already been implemented, which include bringing senior leadership to the front lines and screening prison guards for gang ties. Day by day, we are making progress. And Governor Reeves says part of the solution is raising wages for correction officers who are under challenging circumstances. He promises to be transparent on the process. Live in the studio, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News. Annette, thank you. And count on Local 24 to bring you full coverage of tomorrow's prison reform rally on air and online. Brad Broders will be traveling to the state capitol, and you can follow him on Twitter and look for a full report tomorrow on Local 24 News at 5 and 6.